Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel firstly, and I'm so sorry I have been away for so long. As I said in my comments, I'm in college right now, but that should be finishing in a few more weeks. So once that's over, I'll be back to doing my videos and I will go about them slowly. Anyway, it's been a while since I've done a video like this. I think the last one I did was at Christmas. And I'm really sorry about the shadow. That's the one from my phone. Really sorry about that, guys. Anyway. The last one I did was Christmas when I showed you what I got for Christmas and my birthday. Anyway, right into the video, I'm going to tell you what it is and why I'm doing it. So I have purchased my very first Harry Potter wand and I really want to show you guys because this is my very first wand. So I'm going to tell you, links will be down in the description where I got the wand. So let's just get right into it. Here it is. So I purchased this from a website called Zabby, which is an amazing website. And they ha do have other wands and they have other kind of collectible stuff, but they aren't like Noble Collection, which if we have Harry Potter collectors out there, they understand that Noble Collection is the place to go. Anyway, so let's just get right into it and I'm going to show you the box. Here it is. So this is Queenie Goldstein's wand. I got a window box. Sorry about the shine, but there she is. And her all her wand in her glory. So I got a window box and this is what a window box is. So you can see... Her wand is actually in a clear kind of case. So it's not like an Ollivander's box. And I'm going to show you the box now. So here it is. On this side you have her wand. Names upside down. And on the back, Noble Collection logo. Which obviously, like I said, I didn't get it. And there we have some of the other Fantastic Beasts wands. And then on the side we have Queenie Goldstein's wand. All right, so I prefer Windows Box, and I'll tell you why. It's because at the top we have this. So if you don't have space in your room, which I do not, then the best thing I'm going to do is, until I get a proper display, you can actually get, like, a, if you have hooks or nails on your wall, you can actually put this onto the hook. I have no hooks right now. All my hooks are of use, are being used right now. But I will take one of the things off the hooks to show you guys if I have one. But I'm going to actually show you what it looks like when it's hooked up. Anyway, obviously a window box is good if you're the person who doesn't want to open them. Because obviously if you don't open it, it will increase the value. I opened it to see what it was like, but I haven't opened it since then. I don't open it because I'm afraid I will break it. So this is why I love window boxes because it has this tag. And also... Windows box, I think, are perfect if you don't want to open it and increase the value. You can still see what the wand looks like. Because you can see her shell, the gold, even some of the tint of blue. So I'm going to take it out of the box and I'm going to show you. Alright guys, so I've just taken it out of the box and this is what it comes in. It comes in this like this cardboard, plastic, whatever, velvet thing. So this is where the wand sits in and they have these little tags here so you can actually grip the wand which is really nice. So I'm going to take it out. So back in a second. Okay, guys, I've just taken it out. So obviously you can see the shadow. So I'm going to put it down on the table carefully. So this is the top of the wand. You can see the shell. Hopefully you can see some of that tint of blue. You can see the gold. All right, I'm going to turn it around so you can see it. Now, this is very sturdy. It's a very good wand, almost as if you were getting it from Noble Collection. I'm going to turn my phone around so you can see it proper standing on my desk it's quite a good length and it's all right guys i'm sorry i think we all want to do this the swish and flick don't think i did that right hermione will probably tear me apart for not knowing it but so this is a really nice wand i love queenie's wand that's why i wanted queenie's first because it's probably one of my favorite wands but i do plan on getting other ones so this is really beautiful i love the seashell of the gold i love the tint of blue and it's a very good length. So this is like, it's full size. It's almost, not the full length of my table, but it's a very good quality. It's amazing. I don't know if you heard that, but I am not going to fiddle around with it. Because obviously it's not a toy. And, you know, you obviously want to be careful. That's why I am keeping it in its little box. That's why I'm going to keep it in its little box. Until I get a proper display case for it. So, this is the wand. It's very nice. I personally love it. This is one of my 
favorite, absolute favorite ones. But like I said, I'm going to put it back into its box before I break it. All right, guys, I've just put it back in the box. And you can see that if you try, you might be able to twist it if you put it in the box wrong so you can properly see it. You can twist it so you can decide where you want to put it. It's very hard to get it back in the box to get it back into this little thing. So I kind of have to push down, even though you may not want to. You might just have to. So because Queenie has this little, I guess you could call it, the gap in between the shell, which is sort of like a conch shell, I think is the right name. Don't quote me on that. You're able to turn it around to see however you want to display if you want the blue showing. So this is the box. It's very nice. And obviously it has these little things. But again, with this, you kind of have to pull a bit to get it out of the box. So, and this is actually how you open it. So here we are. You just kind of take this the out, those, and you just pop the one back in. So I'm going to pop it back in before I break it again. All right, there it is, back in the box. So yeah, Queenie's wand, my very first Harry Potter wand. The box is quite a nice length. Again, I'm going to turn my phone over so you can see it. The box is quite a good length because it holds the wand, but it's a very nice. I'm going to turn my phone back. All right, guys. So yeah, this is my very first wand. I am planning to get more wands. I have my eyes on two already that I'm going to buy once I get the money. And I love the wands. So I am going to show you. I have a lot of videos like this planned that I'm thinking of. I just want to get some more items before I show you them. So I have a Harry Potter collection, which I do have some Harry Potter stuff that I want to show you guys. I have a Shadow Hunters collection that I want to show you. If we know the shadow hunters out there if we have any fans and i also am in the middle of working on what i purchased this year all right guys so i have a few videos coming out that i and if you like videos like this please let me know in the comments because i will do more if you want if not i'm just going to do them for like showing you my collection showing you what i bought stuff like that in case you want to get it too all links will be down in the description so i will have a link for the queenie wand and also guys, you might notice that it might seem like this video is scratching a bit, if that makes sense. Anyway, that's because I'm pausing it to get the one in and out. And obviously I have to open doors. So yeah, I really hope you like this video, guys. And I want to personally say thank you so much for all the subscribing, the comments. It really means a lot to me. And also keep, keep asking for some videos. And I do see them, guys. I promise you. It may take a while for me to upload the video, but I do see your comments and I am working on those videos. The moment I see comments for a new video, I go right, I get right to it. So I do see them. It just takes a while. And also, guys, I want to tell you this one thing. If I have done a video already, if I've done a redo already, and you want it done again, you need to give me a reason why. Because if not, I might not do it. Because I've already done that song like twice, one was probably the first one which probably wasn't very good and the second I probably ha had a very good look at the first one I did and see what could I change so please if there's a reason you want a, a third video of the same song done again please give me a reason if not I might just not get to it at all because I've already done it twice and I might do it a third time if I notice myself that there's something wrong and also guys if there is a video that I've done and you cannot see it at all let me know in the comments and I will redo it. I have no problems with do redoing my videos. I actually prefer it if you tell me that there's something wrong with the video. Or you want it redone again. Because it gives me a chance to look over the video I've done and think, oh, why would I do that? I can change that. Especially videos when I was just starting out on my channel. Because those were kind of, a re those were like a trial run. Alright guys, so thank you again for coming to my channel. And I will be back soon hopefully i'll just i'll slowly lead myself back into doing videos but i will do the videos i promise so keep requesting keep commenting keep, and like guys if you like this video please give it a like hit, even hit the subscribe button and share my videos it really means a lot to me that you're that i'm the word is spreading so thank you so much and i will see you again bye hey guys what's up sorry about that so keep doing this every time I say goodbye I have something else to show you anyway I told you I was gonna have a look at what Queenie's one looks like when it was hung up by 
that little tag there. So you'll probably notice I'm in another room and you might notice also it's a bit more echoey. I'm in my younger sister's room right now because she has hooks on her wall and I do not. All right, so I've just hung Queenie's wand up. And again, sorry if it's a bit more echoey and probably a bit louder. My sister's room is a lot bigger than mine. Hers is a two person room, whereas mine is one person. And she doesn't have as much stuff stashed away. Sorry about that buggy. Anyway, here it is. You're probably gonna see a shine. I'm gonna turn my phone so you can see it fully. So there it is. Hung up on the wall, you can see like there's a little hook up there. Hopefully you can see that. You can see it there, hook up on the wall. So you can hang Queenie's wand there and it just sits there on the wall. So I'm going to step back so you can see it on the wall. And you can see her wand nicely. So yeah, I think those window boxes are amazing because if you don't have a display case as of yet, then it's perfect for if you want to hang, if you want to display your wand somewhere safe. Since I have no hooks on my room, mine is basically just stashed away on one of my shelves. So yeah, there it is, all hung up in its glory, right on the wall. And it's great because if all you need to really do to display those is just even get a nail and a hammer, stick the nail on the wall, or even they have those which are like kind of stick on hooks where you take off the plastic and you stick it onto the wall and then you can hang it. So yeah, there it is. The hook is just, well, not really a hook, more like a nail, just there. And there she is, all hung up on her glory in the wall. And you can see her wand very clearly there. You can see even the blue tint. Sorry about the reflection, guys. So yeah, thank you again for all the subscribing and the comments I'm getting. And again, guys, if you want to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comments because it shows me you like these. And until next time, I will see you soon. Bye.